How is everyone doing today? We're back with the top 10, 10-ish platelist. You know, 10 to 15, see what there is. But uh, on this edition, 1940s Saskatchewan, plus a few other favorite uh, Canadian plates. But 1940s. What do you think we're going to pick? What do you think is going to be number 10? What's going to be number 1? What's your choice? Stay tuned as we flip this bad boy around and uh, get ready to start the countdown. Okay, now that we got this camera flipped around, we're ready to start putting the plates up on the wall. I just want to let you know, 1940s Saskatchewan was very hard to pick. A lot of cool plates here. We're gonna go right in the middle. We're gonna pick number five. You know, we started with 1946 for number five. I love this red and white. It's a harder one to find in nice shape. 7904, nice four digit. I don't know, Canadian colors, it's pretty cool, but it's worthy of a number five place. What number you guys wanna see next? Well, 1945. I think I called 1946-45. I don't know. I might mess that up, but 1945-4360. It's reverse of 46, so it's like in 45 and 46 they just switched it up. But what do you guys think? Where does this belong on the list? Like I said, this was super hard, super hard to decide. This guy's going to number eight. Some of you might not like that, but that's where it's going to be. So uh, let's go with the other red and white ones. We got 1941 and 1940. Same thing again. They just reverse the colors year after year. 6504, 1940. Super awesome paint year. The paint held up on these. Every non passenger, every 1940 you find is just an awesome shape. Even if it's in crappy shape, it seems to clean up pretty good. 1941 is kind of 50 50. There's some nice ones, but they're a little rare. I don't know why, but that six looks like an upside down nine or something to me. It looks funky. What do you guys think? Anyways, where do you think these belong on the board? I'll tell you what. 1941's getting that number six spot. Because this one's just a little more common, so it's going to go right there. Now they've got those red and white plates out of the way. Let's jump into something I like a little better. Orange and black, 1942, 4369. This is another super common plate for some reason. The 1942s, whatever the case, they survive. Lots of them, very common. That's what makes this decision go where it's going. Because 1940s was hard. I can't help it. It was a very hard choice to pick the ones I picked. But, it's going to number nine. It's just how it's gonna be. So, uh, now, we're gonna pull out these guys. 48, 49, and you'll see it coming soon, 1950. It went a little weird with the shape. It's still 12 inches, but it's like five and a half instead of six. You know, story of everyone's life, it seems like. But we got silver and black, 838. And we got brown and white, 2769. So if you watch the 1930s countdown, I'm sure you know where these plates are going. What do you think? What's going where? If you guessed 1949 brown was going in the number 10 spot, that's where it went. But this silver is kind of cool. 
gonna go right here. Now, before we get to the top three, we're gonna take a look at 11 to 15, which are gonna be my five favorite other Canadian provinces from the 50s. This was a little easier to pick because there is, I messed that up, from the 40s, 50s is next. But this was kind of an easier one to pick because the 40s were kind of cool. Manitoba was super hard, but we're gonna take a quick look at the other Canadian provinces that did not make the cut. So come with me and we'll have a look. Okay, now that we've made it over here, I'll show you some of these 1940s that just didn't make the cut. Like these New Brunswick's that look like old men's suits or something. Nova Scotia are kind of cool. Black and orange, but it's a little beat up. Silver, Alberta, I like those a little bit. Some Ontario's, a little bit of silver. Purple, not purple, blue. Horrible repaint. So yeah, you see why those didn't make the cut. But wait, there's more. Hold on, just a second. See, just like I said, there's more stuff that just didn't make the cut. Some of these Ontario are kind of cool. But uh, some Alberta is a little bit cool too. They just didn't make the cut. They're not prime enough for the five Canadian provinces I picked. We got some New Brunny over here, some Nova Scotia, a little green one hiding up here. Some BC, the Alberta, that Manitoba spot's missing because you know, something's happening there. Don't worry, it's not all Manitoba in those last five. But these are all just boring. I got some good, good Canadian picks for my top five Canadian provinces from the 1940s. So just stay with me. And we'll jump back over to that top 10 board and I'll show you exactly what I got picked out. Okay, we're back over at the top 10 board. We're gonna show you my top five favorite Canadian provinces from the 40s. My fifth favorite, new to the videos, 1943 Quebec, 75, 291, black and yellow. It's cool, that black and orange we had from Alberta in the 30s is cool, but this black and yellow, it just pops. But, it's only getting this spot. And I gotta move the pegs, cause it just, nothing lines up, I guess. Unacceptable, that's why it's getting the number five spot of my favorite Canadian provinces. Now, number four. This one's cool because it's big. It's way different size. And it's got my favorite plate color in it. Green. This Ontario 85B35. It's pretty cool. It's got the crown on there. I don't know. This guy's definitely neat. And I think we're going to have to move pegs again for it. What do you think? Oh, Ontario for the win. Okay, next. Next, we got John Deere colors, Saskatchewan colors. So it's number three, of course it is. Green and yellow, do you know what it is yet? 1940 New Brunswick, 25, 540. Now that is a cool plate. It probably just popped at nighttime with that yellow, but there we go, we got another green. Green, green, green. Now, number two was very hard. I'll tell you right now, it's gonna be a Manitoba. And it was so hard that the next video is gonna be the top 10 1940s of Manitoba, because it was hard. There were so many cool ones, and I couldn't have all five of my Canadian provinces be Manitoba. Like, so many cool colors. So I picked one. 
You don't have to tune in for 40s Manitoba to see what goes to number one for Manitoba 40s. But this one is going to go in the top five list. Keeping with the cool color scheme we got going on. 1940. One, two, three, three, zero. Manitoba. Green and white. Now that is a cool plate. And like I said, Manitoba, super hard, super hard choice. But now for number one, what province is missing from there that you think deserves a spot in the 1940s top five Canadian provinces? Well, this one's cream and green. I might have just given it away for some people, but 1947 Alberta. Now that is a sexy plate. I absolutely love it. Expires 31, 347, 83, 253. It's going in the number one Canadian provinces. So there we have it. My five favorite 1940 plates from Canada, Alberta, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Ontario, and Quebec. Sorry the provinces that didn't make the cut. Maybe a Northwest Territories would but I don't have any, so they're never going to make the cut because it'll be a long time until I see one. But now, we're going back up to that top three. First, though, it's bugging me. I got to make a change. I got to make a change. This orange plate just does not deserve to be in number nine. It's too cool. So, unfortunately, this silver guy... He's getting demoted down with his 1949 buddy. 42. He's getting promoted up to that uh, number four spot. So now we got three left. Do the math. You know what's missing there? Number three. You got any guesses what it's going to be? Another orange and black plate from the 40s. If you follow Saskatchewan, you know what it is. If not, 1947 Saskatchewan 42015 now that is a cool plate it is like perfect I don't think it was ever on a car like just pristine the shine on that it's going in the number three spot right up there hopefully it doesn't fall now we got two left number one and number two and i know everyone is like oh i know what number one is it's 1940s so uh this is probably not gonna throw some people but 1944 window sticker never mounted it's stuck in this frame but it comes out of there in 44 because of the war there's a metal shortage. So they issued a window sticker stuck on your window. You kept your 1943 plate on your car. Super rare, hard to get. Everyone wants it. But guess what, everybody? It's only getting the number two spot. Because 1943 is my favorite. This black and white plate, the gloss to it, plus it come in two different sizes, the shorty version and the long version. This plate is number one in the 1940s Saskatchewan. My favorite plate, I think I got like 15 of them. I just keep buying the damn things even though I don't need them. The short ones are super cool. I got samples, I got a bunch of different stuff. So, uh, I don't know how we're gonna do this without knocking everything over, but let's see what we can pull off. And there you have it. The 1940s Saskatchewan top 10, chosen by me, my favorites. Let me know what you would do. How would you change the list? But we went number one, 1943. Number two, 1944. Number three, 
the orange and black 47. Number four, another orange and black 42. Five and six got the red and white. Seven and eight got the white and red. Nine, silver and black. Could be made with trim clad. Who knows? It's pretty bright. And number 10, fugly brown. Sorry, but that is what it is. And that top five of my favorite Canadian provinces. Alberta, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Ontario, and Quebec. Looks like green kind of took over the rest of Canada in the 40s. Well, Saskatchewan, again, no green license plates. Maybe the 50s will change that. Anyways, keep tuning in. We're going to keep making top 10 videos. The next one coming up on the list is going to be 1940s Manitoba because, like I said, I absolutely love them. And then after that, 1950s Saskatchewan. So, till next time. Get into trouble. Stay out of trouble. Like, comment, follow, share. Do nothing. Do everything. Keep watching the top 10 plates. I'll keep making them. Have an awesome time, everybody.